Hello and welcome to another episode of Citadel Guard Adventures. This is Beriathan of the Citadel Guard of Gondor and today we will continue our journey through Moria. We are in the Redhorn Lodes and we'll need to find, first of all, what or who exactly is cultivating this fungus we've been finding all over Moria. And second, finding the leader among the infected orcs and spiders. Now, the leader of the orcs we did stumble upon on the previous episode, but we didn't have the quest for him, so we'll need to go back to where we were and look for him once again. Um, who will we find in here? The leader of the spiders, maybe? It's like a possibility. Ah, yeah. Yeah, there she is. The leader of the spiders, so... Let's just hit her. Found while it's controlling the infected spiders and is defeated. All right. Doesn't seem to have dropped any quest item. There doesn't seem to be anything else in here to do. Now let us go and look for the orc leader. is not far from here either somewhere across this area I did remember seeing him over here somewhere Seems I might have missed my way just a little bit. Yeah, once again, this area, it's kind of dark. I cannot see too much of it. The Twisted One, still no, no quest related to him, but I think this is the guy we're looking for. The source of the wildly growing mushrooms is a terror from deep within the foundations of stone. Yeah, I thought as much. Kind of weird finding a uh, nameless in the red horn loads, so had to be. Needed nameless layer. The agent of corruption has been defeated, just gotta find the leader of the orcs. We need to defeat 100 nameless in Moria. So, yeah, that's quite, quite a road. But anyway, the leader of the orcs is actually in here. His name is Kazak. We're gonna fight him in just a moment. Die. You found what is controlling the affected orcs and it's defeated. Very well. Let us return to Nak then. Oh yeah, there is a lot of smoke in this area. And yeah, it's kind of tricky to make to find a way. But right, here we are.
Durin's folk will defy Durin's bane! You found it, the one who helped to corrupt such a large area of the Redhorn. I knew there was a sinister hand behind it. The one who did it was a faceless creature. You are far more brave than I, as even your description of it would give me nightmares for weeks, months perhaps. You have many my thanks for saving the Redhorn loads, a jewel of Moria. Um, agility, what do we have here? Agility, vitality, fate. Yeah, this one. Azog's folk have not yet fully repaid for their crimes against us. It didn't take long for the organizers of this corruption to convert enough creatures for a small army. The fungus seems symbiotic in nature, it somehow allowed the leaders you killed to control them. This infected fungus is extremely dangerous. I hope that's the last time we see those horrors come out of the foundations of stone. If only the elves were not so stiff-necked! We might make a swift victory of this endeavor! While you have been busy with the corruption to the east, I have spent time figuring out that locket. And I think I have it. It's a curious puzzle and I have never seen or heard of anything like this. I am really curious as to what is inside. The locket has sights that pop out when rubbed and pressed a certain way. I am holding it open but if I let go, I may have to start over and it took a while to finish the levers open. With a little help, I may finally pop this open. Could you do me a favor and grab my tools from that crate over there? Alright, so let's see what what was Kalfli holding to. We will reclaim Kazadum for dying Ironfoot! Aha! That did the trick, and I finally got it open. What an interesting locket Kathli held on to. There are two inscriptions inside. One in Kuzdul and the other I cannot make out. It is much older than anything I have seen and in some form of ancient runic. The newer inscription is written to Kavli from his loft, Fina Frostbird. Fina is one of the premier carvers back home. He was Kavli's sweetheart and their betrothal was made formal only shortly before he joined this expedition. Stay a moment! We will need your aid against the Orcs of Moria! Perfect, so we leveled up to 57, got a new class trade point. And what now? This will not be easy news to deliver to Kaflis next to Kin. His cousin Scully is the only member of Kaflis family that I can think of who came with us to the mines. You will likely find him to the southwest searching for long lost riches and ore deposits. He may also be able to make out what this ancient text says inside the locket. Here, take my goat. He can take you safely to Kulis camp in southern Redhorn Loads. Okay, this one. Alright, let us decline the old festival for the moment and talk to Cooley. Durin's folk will defy Durin's pain! Kafli is dead! Alas, that is a tragedy beyond bearing. He was friend to many, reliable, kind. It will not be easy to spread the sad news. We will send our condolences to Pina. Can I see that locket which you said may have led to this death? I. You and Kanak are right. There are ancient runes inscribed in here. It describes a dwarf mining company of old who found the original deposits of Mithril. This says the mining company had a structure somewhere around here, but could it still exist? At long last, we will drive the maggot folk from our halls! Berethan, Kafli's passing is a cause for great grief. I can think of only one way to properly celebrate his life and death in correct accordance with our most ancient and venerable dwarf traditions. Kafli was friends with many on this expedition and they are stationed from the Holling Gate to the ruins of the Bridge of Kazadum. Will you honor Kafli's memory with them by quaffling a good ale with each of them where they are staying at most of the major encampments of my people throughout the mines? Oh god. Alright. Let us drink first here. Cook up, please. And a Zarmican. Is that the flaming dips? Yeah. 
Oh, we are not yet to the flaming disc. The doom belongs to Doran's folk. Oh god, wake up. No, no, no. What? No, 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 but... I was about to begin the other quest. Where did you take me? Oh, this is one of those quests. Oh my god. Oh, okay. It took me to an Azarmi camp. You can barely see anything in here, but well. We are here in the flaming dips. Unlocking the explorer did. We're not gonna take the quests in here, it seems, because, well, we're gonna... Uh... Take a drink. Got this memory. Now the next drink is in the rotten cellar, so I guess... Once again, yeah, you're gonna fall. We get up. And we're ported to the rotting cellar. Or well, at least the quest is giving us <laughs> the rights we need to do this really quickly. Now, where's the tank card? Tank card is in here. Let us drink this. Right, so now we need to go to the chamber of the crossroads. <sighs> this has got to be one of the greatest hangovers in the game. Wake up. Get up. Alright, the next tank card is in here. The Shadowed Refuge. Okay. But this ale is taking us places. Ah. Get up and let us go to the Shadowed Refuge. That doesn't look like the Stable Master now that we're here. We have discovered the Shadowed Refuge and we have a new deed, the Foundations of Stone. But now, where is the tank card again? Gotta be somewhere in here. So now we go to the Dolven view. <laughs> when this ale hits, when the effect hits, it's. I always liked how the the camera pans to right, so you you don't have a center view. It's a really nice effect, a nice little detail. Uh, the Dolven view. Okay. Deep descent, okay, that's in the silver can loads. <sighs> oh my god. All right, 
Alright, so get up. I'm assuming the town card is somewhere around here. Yeah. Here, what do you have to say? If there? it were not for the prospect of finding me through, I would not have come here. Right, so we're all mourning for coffee, yeah. Yeah, we're quite hungover and not in a good shape. <laughs> and trying to retain a stoic pose while so drunk. Ah, that is. <laughs> this is great. Alright, bring to Kavla's memory in the 21st hall. How many more places do I need to go? I hope you at least have the decency to take me back where I wear. The town card is in here. Back to Cooley camp near the Grotbog Hive. Are you gonna port me back, or do I need to make my the way back on my own? Well, it seems this is gonna take us back there. Now the question is, how do I get rid of this drunken effect? Or fight Grotbox Red Big well, well drunk? That would be fun. Azog's folk have not yet fully repaid for the crimes against us. You did not know him as long as we, but you proved yourself a stout-hearted friend to Kafli. It will be through the noble actions of people like yourself, willing to both fight for the future and respect the traditions of the past, that the glory of Kazadum will once more be sung throughout the world. Uh, vitality, agility, morale, critical rating, physical mastery. Well, we can try this and see if it works. If only the elves were not so stiff-necked, we might make a swift victory of this endeavor. Auti and I came here despite our fellows' request for us to stay, and I feel bad we left them behind. But we didn't agree the era those orcs were mining was the richest source of ore in the Red Horn. We thought the untapped veins in this cavern were more likely to produce mithril ore. I hope we find what we seek, or we may never hear the end of it. I need you to help me scout the high for good prospecting locations. Knowing those locations will help if we can someday clear the path through this hive. Stand and speak with me. The fate of Kazadum hangs in the balance. I noticed a number of Grotbog beetles who seem to come and go from specific parts of the hive. Have you noticed that their shells seem to shimmer and shine like finely polished ingots of Moria copper? I wonder if they are attracted to your deposits in this tunnel and if they have been dig digesting some of it. That might be why their shells are so hard. Why don't you find some of those beetles and dispatch them? If we can reclaim some of the metals they have ingested, all the better. In the worst case, you are simply making the hive a slightly safer place. Okay. Uh, first, let us equip this ring that we just got. And second, let us equip these shoulders. Um, so let us see critical writing, physical mastery. Alright, well, I, I think the, the change in physical master is not too big, so we can make this change. Now, I'm having an issue here. I need to keep bringing up backspace. This will have to do for the time being. So let us sell all this that we just got.
Okay. But we still have roughly one more minute of hangover. Um, but do I wait? Because, yeah, the, the red corn loads is a really dark and, and maze-like area. And I'm doing it like this. This was not the best moment for a drink. So yes, I can. I, I guess we can. We can just wait another minute, really quick. In the meantime, let me check in here my trade points. I have five trade points. But what I'm not sure about is if I want to invest those trade points in here, Gambit Builder damage, in the Spirit Sweep line, or if I want to start dibbling in more. more lines here range damage and duration to think about it but <laughs> unless now we can continue our journey here we have the hive the chittering hole found and noted on your map okay The, the droning noise of thousands of great big voices is enough to drive anyone mad. The incessant chittering never seems to stop. The voices need to be silenced. The largest great big, the Grotbok warriors, are responsible for the loudest of the chittering. Alright, I think this is the part of the Red Core lo loads where we can find the mirror. At least I hope I'm right. So this either boss, what's the deal with it? Oh, Mithril Flake, okay. I'll take that one. has to be somewhere in here. I'm almost certain of it. Somewhere in here.
The Krotbok hive is quieter for now, and the droning that remains is almost to tolerable. Ah! Almost. I all of you die. sure the mirror has to be somewhere in here. Or am I wrong? Because usually the quests don't take you directly to the mirror, but they they take you close enough for you to find on your own. On it doesn't seem right, for example, for the mirror to be in some of those ore camps. The orcs would certainly destroy it. And it makes more, more sense to me for the mirror to be somewhere in here. Maybe this passage. What is this? Not heaven. Ah! Yeah, we're most likely gonna have another quest. In here, but it doesn't hurt to explore now that we're here. At least we got all the beetles, but we'll need to find some more deposit clusters of deposits. All right, I see. Actually, not close. Let us just make our way there. Please tell me the mirror isn't there. There's got to be a mirror in the red horn loads. Low hollow found and noted on your map, and there he is, the mirror. 
all of you. I was sure of it. So, here. The mirror in the red horn loads used to reflect the light and illuminate the mine. It has been knocked out of alignment, likely by the orcs who roam there. The dwarves will have difficulty exploring safely if they cannot see. Oh jeez. Was sure the mirror has had to be somewhere in that area. Doom for dying iron foot. You found some promising locations. I'm excited to begin our search, but we were just miners and wouldn't stand a chance out there like you can. I'll have to keep these locations on record. If we can discover a way to reduce the size of this immense hive those great big have built, we may someday get started. Kazadoom belongs to Dorin's folk! Our camp is in a dangerous location being so close to the enormous hive, but if we go further north, we are sure to be overrun by orcs. The ancient ruins in the locket describe a chamber somewhere within the Redhorn Loads, and this could be the perfect place to set up our mining operation. The ruins don't specify where exactly, but I believe this old garrison is inside a hive somewhere. Head south into the hive and search for the ancient garrison of Nuthaden. Well, your lucky will already know where that is. Dwarves must fight for dwarves. I take it this means there are fewer Gretbik around those ore deposits. Excellent! But they kept returning, you say? I do wonder if we can ever make this area safe to mine. The time has come to drive forth the orcs from our kingdom. Thank you, Veriathan, for fixing the mirror. No, I can see at least until those blasted orcs knock it out of alignment again. Alright, so let us go to Nuthaden. Is not far. So oh, it's over here, I believe. So now we need to explore it. That's the entry room. Of course there's gonna be more quests in here. That's nice. The Kretbik have converted Nuthiden into an extension of their hive. This was once an ancient home of dwarves and should be again. While inside, defeat any Gretvik you find there. The Queen's Chamber. The old mess hall. While the Grotbog Queen still lives, dwarves will never reclaim their honorable home of old. It must be struck down, only then will this place be left in peace. And where exactly is the queen? Oh god! Nuthaden now has a chance to be claimed by something other than Gretbik. 
Will dwarves once again call this home? Casa Doom will not be restored to glory all at once, but stone by stone it will shine once more. And here we have... Stop it! Be quiet, stay put. Christ. You wanna fight too? Jesus. What do we have in here? Floor the main barracks of Nuthaden. Cocoon larva. God. Great big living where dwarves once did is unacceptable. This is an honored site of the ancient miners of Mithril. The Grotbok larva should be destroyed in honor of the dwarves of old who call this place home. Yeah, I agree. This is disgusting. <laughs> this entire place is disgusting. Leave this area and go back to the dwarves. Yeah, this doesn't seem safe to have it once again, not yet. Shadow of Mordor will not long fill the halls of Kasatum. That you say? Are you sure? Well, that's good. Kuli and I will pack up soon and make our way there. It will be up to us to ensure those blasted insects do not try to occupy that ancient home of dwarves ever again. Durin's folk will defy Durin's bane! The thought of Gretbik raising their young where dwarves of legend once left sickens me. That was once a warm home to those honorable dwarves. They found the mithril that many treasures of Moria are made from. The orcs of Moria have much to account for. I cannot believe the ancient garrison exists and is not just rumor or legend. It makes sense that this place is unlivable after how long it has been left uninhabited by dwarves. I suppose when I think about it, it was foolish to think it would be safe. It was more a desire born from hope than from reality. If we are to find Mithril in Casa Doom, we will first have to deal with the orcs. The high formations in this cavern have never been this large and must be incubating, incubating an immense population of Gretbik. They always lived in the nooks and crannies here, but recently their growth has done right exploded. You can see from here, the ceiling and walls are covered in cocoons and larvae. There must be a heat source helping to incubate all those eggs so quickly. Perhaps you could seek out this heat source. If we find out where the heat comes from, we may be able to do something about it. Alrighty. Let me check really quick. Uh, the... Leggings that I just got. Agility. Vitality critical rating.
Alright, let us let us do this. Let us use it. And uh Okay, we basically need to make our way to the flaming dips. Are you gonna send us to the flaming dips now? I wonder. Well that would be nice because I need you to send me to a place where I can find a forge master and uh well, not a bolt that's in the 21st hole, but but something at least. So let us go and find the source of the heat. Just gotta keep running. there. Now what now? The heat is coming from the flaming dips, but wait, what is the noise coming from around the corner to the right? We have entered the flaming dips. We have found a new race of work, the Gosh High. Wow, this looks... This looks great. I have now some pictures of the flaming dips. Is that an injured dwarf up ahead? The heat is coming from the boiling oil pools and lava pools in the flaming dips. There is nothing that can be done to stop it from helping the Grotbog Hive incubate their young. But there appears to be an injured dwarf hiding among the rocks up ahead. You should see if he needs help. Uh, all right. What foul and nameless things we face in Moria, I know not. Thank you for stopping to speak with me, traveler. We have been leading an assault on the orcs, but we're overtaken by a much larger force than we prepared for. I got away, but have sustained a serious injury. I am too hurt to travel, but I would appreciate if you could go check to see if there were any additional survivors at Hadad Mezer. Hadad Mezer can be found to the northwest, just follow the sands of battle. The northwest, alright, and what do we have in here? Wood is in short supply in Casadum, and the pieces of scaffold found around the flaming dips could prove useful for the repair efforts being performed beneath the crossroads of ash. There should be a decent supply of pieces of the scaffold found throughout the tunnels east of Hadad Nazar. Alright. The faint sounds of battle at Hadad Nazar can be heard in the distance. Okay. Sounds of battle draw nearer as you grow closer to Hadad Nazar.
You did Worm Slayer? Oh god, another one. Fiery Grim. Funny how a Jowlin can stun a Fiery Grim, but okay. The Fiery Grims are nothing but a hindrance to the dwarf efforts, and their flames must be extinguished. Or a hot orange glow should make them easy targets. Well, on that, you're right. Voice cries out as the sense of battle abruptly come to an end. Right. You have arrived at the atmosphere, you should search for signs of survivors. Upon arriving at the atmosphere, you see that the orcs have a strong grasp on this area, making it difficult to get in or out. The orc forces are strong and their numbers must be thinned. Actually, not so far from Manazar McKen. But we can sell some stuff. Oh, come on. Hit it. As you examine this fallen dwarf for signs of life, you notice a half-written scroll clutch in his hand. Sadly, no dwarf survived this onslaught, but the scroll should be investigated, for surely it was important to this poor fellow. You found a half-written scroll intended to be delivered to an Azarme camp, clutching the hand of a slain dwarf. It would be wise to deliver this message yourself to warn the others of the formidable Gashai. An Azarme camp can be found north of Hadadnazar. Alright, that we can do. First, let us defeat the orcs in here. You have successfully thinned the number of orcs in Hadadnazar, making it much easier for dwarves of Anatharma camp to get in and out of this area.
So now let us try to make our way out. Alright, so here we are in Anadharma camp. Let us unlock the civil master. Forgot to do that on the my previous visiting here. Under the effects of that ale. I think we can bind our milestone in here. I believe we have already completed all the quests in the Red Horn Loads, and now we are ready to continue onwards to Anazarma camp. Welcome to Casa Doom! My goodness, this is troubling news. If there were Gashkai reinforcements at Kadatmazer, I can only assume they are also at Angumuru and Hurmulkezer. We must warn the others before it is too late, assuming it is not already too late. Oh, glorious day! We shall soon restore Moria! Let's make for Angumuru at once and warn Peggy and his dwarves about the danger. Hopefully it is not too late. Angumuru is southwest of Anazarmikane. Be careful out there, the roads are dangerous. We will reclaim Kazadum for dying Ironfoot! This will do perfectly. There is enough wood to assist with your refurbishing efforts. I'll see to it that it arrives safely at the crossroads of Ash. Thank you very much. Let us reforge really quick here. Fine challenge damage return. Might be nice. Here, shield gambit power cost. Just for the sake of having another major. I oh, know that was an upgrade. Okay. Anyway. Uh and we have a new quest in here. To continue the riddle quest line. A riddle written in Falgar's strange runic language. Wait in my belly, trees are my back. Nails in my ribs, feet do I lack. Well, that will make sense when we find the next room with the options to solve it. And we also have a new quest available here. Perhaps soon we will toast our victory against the Orcs of Moria. Ah, Verathan, it is good that you have come by. I have a proposition for you, though most don't know it. The iron loads in this section of Casadum always had trace amounts of metal in it. My forefather tried for over a hundred years to find some way to extract it, but never had any luck. I have other uses in mind for it, but I need some rather large quantities of the black iron that the orcs have been using to forge their weapons in the flaming deeps. The orcs often trade and barter the ingots among each other for other goods, but they are easy enough to come across. Do you think you could get a hold of a good stack of them for me? Oh, it almost slipped my mind, but I also need a number of worm scales as well. Worms are plentiful down here, so see if you can get me a few of their scales while you are about it, would you? So this is, well, one of the options you had back in the day to get a Compendium of Middle-earth. Now they are not that necessary, well, not on the late levels. On, on this level range they might still be needed. And lastly, let us take a quick look here. What other tasks we can get done in here? Let's see, so creepy skins. Okay, nasty fill, I know I have. There's got to be something else in here that I can use. Creepy fill. All these jack car passes. Farming, sword sheets? No? Oh god. Q 
Beautiful. Or shit, nope. Creepy skins. Oh, that's creepy build. Elegant scales. Breaking claws, no. Alright, so... I'll need to get some extra items in here. Let us get this wicks weekly. So, so far we have five tasks done, but we don't have any more task items for these tasks. Uh, well, let me get rid of the, all these task items, it seems. Once there was trade between the dwarfs of Moria and the elves. And let us make space for the new task items that we'll need for this part of Moria. This shield that we got on one of the quests, I I don't want to equip it. I don't see where it is. Uh, the shield, the shield, uh, come on, where is it? Uh, okay, here. Alright, let us sell this one. Let us repair. Okay, so a few preparations before we begin our journeys through the Flaming Deeps. And that will be where we will start the next episode. Thank you in the meantime for watching today's episode of Citadel Guard Adventures. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you on the next one. For the time being, my friends, stay safe, take care, good luck to you all. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.